Hi everyone, this is Stacy McGee and I'm your instructor for accounting this summer. I just wanted to give you a little walk through the course, make sure you know where everything is, um, highlight a few things and answer some of the most common questions. Hopefully you've had a little time to look around here and get familiar. I know a lot of you are probably already familiar with the My Accounting Lab from Accounting One, but uh, a refresher is always good to make sure you're getting the most out of it. Um, hopefully you all started here at Start Here, where I have some things posted for you. I'm not going to read them all, but let's um, go over some of the things here. Um, the orientation information. You do need some form of the textbook, but the ebook is fine to use. You don't need the physical book. Um, when you go into my lab, uh, well, if you rolled over from Accounting One, you have whatever access you had last time whatever you purchased because that was uh, for two semesters. So, um, uh, you know, you should still have the ebook if that's what you had last semester. Uh, you'll come to campus for the three exams and the cumulative final. Everything else will be done at home, but those two need to be done on campus. Um, the only hard due dates that we have are the exams, but I've given you a schedule that you should stick to as closely as, as you can. Uh, this is a 10 week class, so we're condensed a little bit faster than a regular semester. So you really cannot afford to get behind. Um, so stick as close to it as you can. You do have a little bit of freedom in that I don't have specific due dates. So if you need to, uh, if one week is super crazy busy and you can feel like you can make up for the next week, you, you do have that option as long as you don't, um, as long as you take the tests on time, but you really want to stick to that as much as you can. Um, you're not going to be able to cram three chapters in a few days before the exam. Um, and, and you just, you won't be able to succeed that way. These do take a lot of time. Um, you really need to practice this in order to learn it. And some of the material in accounting two is a little tougher than accounting one. So make sure you give yourself time to get these done. Um, uh, don't wait until the last minute. The exams will all be available for at least a week. Most of them I think I have set for 10 days. Uh, so you can go to the testing center anytime during that 10 days. I strongly recommend that you do not wait until Sunday to do that because um, things come up, things that you're not expecting, and then you've given yourself no margin for error. So try to plan on getting it done, you know, uh, um, maybe Friday, maybe even Saturday, and then if something goes wrong, you have a backup. You can work at your own pace to a, to a certain extent, uh, but again, try to stick to that schedule. You really cannot uh, a, a afford to get behind. The, the structure of this class is great. It allows you a lot of flexibility, but it is kind of dangerous if you're a procrastinator. So if you know that's you, make sure you uh, uh, are aware of that and try to force yourself to stick to those deadlines. If you've never taken an online class before, it does take more of your time. The flexibility is great, but um, if you're taking it because you think it'll be easier than an in-person, you're going to be disappointed. So um, so make sure you realize that it is going to take a lot of your time. If you're traveling, you can do your work ahead. Um, if you're going to be gone during exam week, make sure you take the exam before, you're, before you go. If you need it to open prior to that 10 days, uh, let me know and I can open it early for you. Set up with the, t the testing center. Um, the best way to contact me in, in the summer is definitely over email. I am uh, not in the office on a regular basis in the summer, but I do check email all the time. To do well in this course, you need to take responsibility. You need to be self-disciplined. You need to be self-motivated. Um, the only, I have tons of tools out there for you, but it is up to you to use them. So I have all this stuff in here, but I, I can't do it for you. And there is, there's really no shortcut in accounting. The only way to learn this stuff is to do it and to do a lot of it. So that's what you need to make yourself do. Don't procrastinate. Um, have a backup plan for technical problems. The, the Learning Support Center is open seven days a week, so you can always go there and use those computers if you need to. Um, practice, practice, practice. There's, there's, like I said, there's, there's really no way around that. The only way to, um, to learn this stuff is to do lots and lots of problems. So, uh, that's the, the bulk of that. The syllabus, if you had me for accounting one, uh, it's a little bit different. Um, the textbook is the same. And so whatever you purchased for accounting one, um, you, you you would have purchased two if you if you took it with with us here at HCC, you would have um, purchased two semesters worth of access. Here's all the exciting things that we're going to learn. 
Um, your grade is just exams. Uh, so the homework is there in a couple different formats in the practice, but it's up to you. You can do it. Um, there's, there's not hard and fast due dates. Uh, so it's not like, Oh, I missed it on Sunday. Can you reset it? You can do it Monday. You can do it as many times as you want. You can take the quizzes as many times as you want. Um, but you need to do those things in order to do the exams. There's no way you're going to succeed at the exams if you have not been doing the problems and the quizzes that I have set up there for you. Uh, so there's there's no time limits on these, and you can do them um, as many times as you want. You should, however, be aware of your time. So um, I said in one of the things, if it takes you 90 minutes to take a 10 question quiz, there's no way you're going to finish an exam in two hours. So be aware of how long it's taking you and make sure you're prepared for those. The exams are open book and open note. I always think it's uh, it's best if you prepare for them as if they're not. Um, and then uh, that will um, you'll be better prepared that way. Uh, the, I think I missed something over here. Um, yeah, the weekly workflow, very important. This is how to make sure you are prepared for the exams. The first thing you have to do is read the chapter. I know a lot of people think they don't have to read an accounting, but you really do, especially um, online when you're not there in class. And then watch the videos. I have two or three videos for each chapter, which is very similar to what I'd be doing in class. Then I have a problem set made up of the problems that I worked in the videos. Um, they'll either be the same problems or something very, very similar to it. So you can practice what you just watched in the video. I recommend as you watch the videos, you take notes as if you would, uh, as you would if you were in class. Um, use those to then work those problems. Um, those are going to be shorter problems to really just kind of demonstrate the concepts. And then here you're checking to, in the next problem set, you're checking to make sure you understand those. So these are going to be longer problems, a little more in depth, um, variations on some of the things that you did in the short problems, um, but definitely longer and more involved to make sure you understand the concept and all the different um, variations or scenarios that you might see with that type of problem. And then the third thing for each chapter is the concept check quiz. This is a multiple choice quiz. The exams will be both multiple choice and problems. So if you're doing both of these, by the time you get to the exam, you will have seen both of those. And again, there's no time limit on these and you can do them as many times as you want. But again, be aware of how long it takes you to make sure you are um, ready for the exam. If you need extra practice on something, there's a study plan. I will, I will show you that. Uh, again, it's not required, but it's a great idea. And the people who use that are always the people that get higher grades on the exams. Once you've been through a chapter, this is the time now to make yourself a one page cheat sheet for that chapter. And this should be customized to you. So write down, um, uh, the things that you had trouble remembering or the things that you struggled with a little bit, or, um, translate things from, uh, accounting language to, to what it makes sense to you. Pretend like this is the only thing you'd be able to take the exam with you, even though it's not, but pretend like it is make this, make this, you know, the cheat sheet that way. If you do this, number one, it's a great way to review the chapter and make sure you've got the concepts. Number two, it will save you a ton of time on the exam. And, um, uh, this is really, really, um, I've seen students use a lot of different things and these cheat sheets are really um, the things that seem to help the most as long as you put the time into it. Um, so that's what I recommend for you. It seems like a lot of work for each chapter, but it's really going to make sure you're prepared for the exams. And since that's what your whole grade is, you need to make sure you're prepared for those exams. The other thing I wanted to show you here was um, the schedule. Um, and again, this is kind of a success. So in the first week, you should be working on chapter two. In the second week, you should be working on chapter three. They're not hard and fast due dates, but you really, really need to try to make yourself stick to this. In the third week, for example, chapter 14 is due and the first exam is also due. So you want to probably try and have chapter 14 done by the middle of the week, like maybe Wednesday. And then that'll still give you a few days to prepare for the exam. So exam three is scheduled for, or exam one is scheduled for week three. It'll open up at the end of week two. And, um, and so you can take it any time during that week if you, that you want to, but, um, you really need to try to have chapter 14 done by say the middle of the week to give you time to prepare for the exam. If you wait till 
the middle of week three and you're trying to cram in three chapters and an exam, there's, there's no way you're going to do well. There's just no way you can do it. So, um, so this is the schedule really try to make yourself stick to it, but there is some flexibility in there and even the exams, they'll all be there for about 10 days for you. So you can fit it in any time. Try not to wait till the last day if you can help it. Uh, these are the videos that I have in here. Um, and I do have some PowerPoints from the videos if you want to use those, but I really do think it's probably a better idea if you take your own notes rather than, um, try to use the PowerPoints and look at mine. Uh, uh, looking at somebody else's notes is never quite as helpful. So if you kind of take your own, it'll, it'll, you'll cover it. You'll, you'll, you'll be much better prepared with the material, I think. Um, the assignments, uh, so for, well, actually, let me go back to the assignments. So for each chapter, you'll see the problems from the video, the concept check problems, then the little more in-depth ones, and then a quiz. And for each one, you'll have that. Here's a practice exam, and then about 10 days before the due date, the exam one will show up right here under that. Um, just to make sure, I think most of you are probably familiar with this, but just to, just to make sure when you're in a problem, uh, don't forget about these little things up here in the question help. Help me solve this. We'll work through, uh, they'll take pretty much the exact same problem just with different numbers and work through it step by step by step. Show you how to calculate each of the numbers that they, that they use. Um, and then you can use what you learned and go back and do this problem again. Uh, demo docs are little things. A lot of these chapters will have a video here, not all of them. The e-text here will, when you're working this problem, you'll click over and it'll take you right to that section of the chapter. And then there's always ask my instructor. So, um, uh, everybody's got different versions of the problem. There's a, there's thousands of problems in here, just so many different versions of the same problem. And so, um, some people, um, if you send me, if you say I'm on chapter, I'm on problem number three, everybody has a different number three. So I don't know what you're looking at, but if you, if you click ask my instructor, then I can see exactly what you're seeing. And so that's um, a much easier way for me to, uh, to help you on those. So don't forget about those tools. In addition to some of the other ones I have up for you, the study plan, if you, oh, um, the study plan, if you've never used it, um, I always go here to all chapters. And then, so let's say I'm working in chapter 12. And I'm fine with everything up to um, uh, liquidation of partnerships. So I can click on that. And then here's all the problems they have related to that. You can do all of them. You can do one of them. You can do a couple of them. You can do short ones. You can do longer ones. Um, it doesn't affect your grade in any way. Uh, but this is a great way to practice, especially like maybe you've done all the problems and you're reviewing for the exam and you just want to... Um, uh, check yourself on a couple of them, or maybe, you know, you did these in the exam. Now it's back to the, now we're all the way at the end and you're doing the cumulative final and you want to go back and review a couple things like that. These are here for you to do that. The results are, um, your grades. I haven't done anything here. Uh, but it, if, if I had, sorry, you would see, um, review. And so I can see here, um, I can go back and review the ones I did. If it's a problem where there was some calculations, when you're in here in review, there's often a little thing that says show work solution. And if you click on that, it shows you all the numbers they used to calculate that answer. So don't forget to look at that. This takes you to the e-text right here, which is the entire textbook. Um, uh, everything that's in the paper version of the textbook is in here as well. So you can read that Pearson also has an app so you can read it on your iPad or your phone. If you want to, I think reading this textbook on a phone would be horrible, but, um, the, it's there if you want it. And then the multimedia library has some other things. So you could say I'm on chapter uh, 13. And so you can look at demo docs. You can look at videos they have. You can look at the publisher's PowerPoint, flashcards, all kinds of um, little things here. Like, let's say I want to look at videos and demo docs kind of works you through a problem as well for this chapter. And so here's all the videos they have for chapter 13. Some of them, they're solving problems here. And so those are great little ways to, um, to look at these. And, and I like the demo docs as well. So don't forget that those tools are there for you. And, um, 
I think that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And um, I'm looking forward to a good semester.